I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Dantooine is a rural world, far removed from most galactic trade routes. Historically, agriculture has been Dantooine's primary industry. Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, salvage of the ruins has become a key area of growth for the local community. The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. You may visit the ruins at your own risk. Xeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. My apologies, I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. May I be of any further service to you? The local militia occasionally offers employment to qualified soldiers. Speak to Zeron in the Kunda outpost. Additionally, many visitors come to Kunda to explore the ruins for salvage opportunities. Kunda's salvage industry is a main source of income for the local community, at their own risk. Salvagers may remove relics from designated salvage areas within the ruins. The fee to remove a relic from Dantooine is proportionate to the appraised value of the item. For more details, speak to Administrator Terena Adare at the Kunda Outpost. The famed ruins of the Jet Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. May I be of any further service to you? The main area of interest for visitors is the Kunda outpost. There you will find the local officials who preside over the Dantooine colony. Administrator Terena Adare and Militia Leader Zeron. Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. Due to reduced militia manpower, several dangerous beasts overpopulate the more rural areas of Dantooine. For more information, speak with Zeron in the Kunda outpost. If you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. for cursed salvagers. Oh, you don't look like a damn mercenary and you don't smell like a stinging farmer. Why else would you be here? If you're not a salvager, then I don't even want to know why you'd go to the Enclave. Nothing but rumor. They say the spirits of the angry dead haunt the ruins. On a quiet night, you can hear the ghosts howling and scraping around. Oh, you know, the folks around Kunda. 
Go there yourself and get the details firsthand. You'll find the Kunda outpost just outside the landing port. Is this gonna take long? I'm busy, you know. Not sure what they're doing here other than causing trouble. There's not really much work here for mercenaries. Maybe they're here to collect the bounty on that Jedi. I don't know for sure, but that's what they say. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. You're not. The only heavily armed people that visit us are either salvages or mercenaries. And you don't look quite gritty enough to be a mercenary. The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. Akere is still around here somewhere, too. He sells droid components. Just go to the central corridor and make a right. His shop is the first on the right. If you get into any trouble, here's the person you'd contact. Unfortunately, recent problems with the salvagers and mercenaries have kept him quite busy. The mercenaries cause disruptions for some of our outlying settlers. They are a constant source of friction for us. I hear the salvagers are having some internal problems too. No, I couldn't. If you're really interested in that, just speak to Zeron. The salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garavik is the worst of them. Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes. No friendly greetings are here for you. You act like I have insulted your man. Your ship I haven't seen. But if it takes after you, it can't be in perfect condition. I am done being inconvenienced by you. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik.
Well, call me a defective protocol droid. Uh, manners, right. I'm Baroon Modril. I'm Captain Zeron's right-hand man. I help run the militia here. Well, that makes it sound more important than I am. Zeron takes a hands-on role in running the militia. If you have any real trouble, you'd have to go to him anyway. Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I I'm not sure. Just a guess. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us, well then maybe he should be replaced. I don't want to be made captain that way, but if my hunch is right, he's just about the worst person to leave in charge. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see Administrator Adare. If you have to do some footwork to check into things, you'll be compensated. We should probably talk about something else. I hate going behind the captain's back. I just feel... Uh, I just have a feeling about it. I don't even want to get into it. Ask around if you want to know the details. It'll just make my headache worse if I talk about it. I don't know what we'd do without Administrator Adare. She managed to plow through a lot of the family bickering once the Sith left during the war. She's kept us together. Oh, and, uh, Zeron too, I suppose. I'll tell you anything that's public knowledge. Most militia news passes by me and Zeron. I might be able to help. You should see Administrator Adare about that. She'll be able to set you up. You're not a typical salvager, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble there. I've heard that rumor too. People get really riled up about Jedi around here. Some people seem to have a selective memory. During the war, the Jedi were a big help here. They did everything for us, from clearing out dangerous beasts to solving a murder investigation. I try to stay out of it, though. Standing up for Jedi is one way to become unpopular around here. Maybe. Although I don't know why a Jedi would come back here. The only reason why people ever came here before was the Enclave. And with that gone... <laughs> Easy to say for someone that doesn't live here. I'd rather grab an unshielded power coupling than get involved in that debate. The militia's dealing with enough already. <sighs> You're not wrong there. For what good it'll do, if it comes up, I'll say what I think is right. You happy? I hope so. You may be my only friend in a few days. Talking about Jedi is just depressing these days. Any other cheerful problems you want to talk about? I'm here to help. What do you need? All right, stay out of trouble now. Dutch. 
chi mo na ronta yon bola wata gratong chi muli ra pita sa kantone to sha po sa ma ri to shni ki tuk tuk pam ba ora kino moli ra ni bo non kin un pa no kok tak po sa ma ri to shni ki tuk tuk pam ba ora kino moli ra ni bo non kin un pa no kok tak po sa ma ri to shni ki tuk tuk pam ba ora kino moli ra ni bo non kin un pa no kok tak Pasa susho wi kana ina doka ches kapata rondi losa chi rana dikti na ji ka chi a ubang ta osman tu ni wado ni puta na sapa tongi wa ma ji yu ma li ba to a to in to tu ne da ki ni ka ma ren zo ni ina sti jon bla wen so mas tonga ba sha u ni no da wan ga no chi ro ren mana ma ko pa ino shan o pa ra Chao du so jamara chon het to nich dok shati rengotish ogra chion kuba kratok wikili jane Say the word. I'm the militia captain here. Are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? I see. Well, what's your reason for coming to militia headquarters? thing a visitor wanted to help out. Looks to me like you're here to explore the Jedi ruins. But we have a thing or two that need doing. You seriously want to help, just ask about it. Or any other questions you might have. You want something? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Kinrath are normally just pests. We think something happened to their nest. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart about such things. Very. Kinrath you see on the plains aren't as tough as the ones inside the caves. They may not look much different, but they are tough.
Two thousand credits. I agree with you, but I don't barter. I got more important things to do. We used some explosives to seal the cave a couple years back. Just made them angrier. They burrowed another entrance even closer to us. I know there are crystals in there, too. Some of the salvagers once thought about going in there to get some extra credits. Too many Kinrath, though. Cave is on the southeast side of the plains. Shouldn't be hard to find. That's all I can ask. You want something? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game with the last survivor. Right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses. But nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Pazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? He did, did he? What's this about? I know we don't agree on this, but he's crossing a line. He lives in his sheltered, settler world. He doesn't know what some people are capable of. So he's asked you to go looking into what I'm up to. If I didn't need every last man here... Appreciate. Hmm. All right, I can use your help. But you can't tell anyone. There's a mercenary captain near what's left of the Jedi Enclave's courtyard. His name is Dopak. Just tell him that I said, go ahead. That's all. You have questions, but it's like this conversation never happened, got it? Just do it. It'll help out Kunda. We can talk more later. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the, um, ship that just landed? Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual, but you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before. During the war, that was a Jedi vessel. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. My friend, let's just call him Frock. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Vrook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. 
I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? I have no doubt that Baroon means well, but I have every confidence in Zeron. I would ask you to ignore anything Baroon asked of you. He doesn't see the full scope. I realize that I am asking you for help, but you must also know that I am the head of this nominal government. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to divulge all information to you. There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around. To most people in the galaxy, the distinction between Sith and Jedi is a blurry one, especially since most Sith were once Jedi. It is complicated by the fact that Malak and Revan were great heroes of the Republic and famed Jedi Knights. But a few years later, they were leading an armada, which threatened everyone. And here on Dantooine, the Jedi Enclave provoked a brutal occupation by the Sith. It could have been far worse, but even now the damage has not been fully mended. I don't think everyone hates Jedi. If just a few people changed their minds or spoke up, it could make a great deal of difference. I think that we need the help of the Jedi. If the Jedi's reputation isn't redeemed, the consequences could be quite regrettable. Until then, I would keep your identity secret. Who do you want to know about? There are three groups of people on the planet right now. The settlers, salvagers, and the mercenaries. Dantooine is one of the younger worlds of the Republic. A couple of generations ago, this world was still untamed. We made great progress, in no small part due to the Jedi. But recently, we have been losing ground. During the war, the most prominent settler families either fled or were executed by the Sith. Losing their resources and the Jedi was too great a loss. But now we are organizing and starting to truly work together. Once we achieve that, I am confident that Dantooine can be safe and prosperous again. No, I suppose I'm not. We need the Republic and always have. We aren't self-sufficient yet and we need aid. The fate of the Telos project is intimately tied to our own. The most humanitarian elements of the Senate have put their careers at stake in the rebuilding of Telos. If those efforts succeed, their prominence will grow and further aid will be given freely. But if they fail, there are colder, more authoritative elements in the Senate that could come to power. They would think nothing of leaving the strategically unimportant worlds to their own devices. That would be a tragic day for Dantooine and many other worlds. The Republic is in flux. Its final shape is uncertain. They are a necessary inconvenience. Money has been a great concern to us, ever since the Sandrals and Matales were removed during the Jedi Civil War. The agricultural exports we produce just cover basic maintenance. To expand and prosper, we needed credits, so we had to exploit a valuable resource we had, the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. It was not a decision lightly made, and even then we couldn't do the work ourselves. Too dangerous, and every settler matters on our small world. So we opened the door to enterprising salvagers. The salvagers you see now are the last remnants of that force. The tithe we took from their claims sustains what semblance of government you see now. We plan on using those credits to improve production and protect our world. We have enough to sustain ourselves until more prosperous times. We tolerate their presence because we must, and they generally follow our laws. But their time is almost over. 
The Jedi Enclave's sublevel is the only place left with reasonable salvage. And it has too many dangers for them. The salvages aren't warriors. Generally, they are out-of-work miners or cast-offs from other worlds. Mercenaries have been a problem for Dantooine since the end of the Mandalorian Wars. When the Jedi Enclave was here, they were firmly kept in check. But now, relations are uneasy between us. Their leader, Asgore, was a Sith trooper during the war, and I have no doubt he was very good at his job. Until they find work, tensions will grow. If you want to know more, I suggest you talk with Baroon in the militia headquarters. He would have more details. Suddenly.